When I woke up, the first thing I did was check to make sure I was in my normal room. Nothing seemed strange. Satisfied with that, I got ready for the day's task. I had just finished getting ready when Eric's announcement and tone rang out. Good morning, everyone! So, uh, some people have been asking exactly how we change your rooms without any of you noticing. Well, the answer is magic! What, Master Valdemar? If I may? Oh, you're still here! I thought I gave you the day off! You did, sir. I intend to take advantage of today's festivities. That's right, today's... Master Valdemar, perhaps I should explain about the room changes before we move on to that. Alright, the floor is all yours! Thank you, Master. I heard the sound of someone clearing their throat. As previously mentioned, the manor has undergone extensive work. Part of the work was the addition of advanced holographic projectors provided by Keeper Tech. A single flip of switch and the room is transformed. Whoa! In addition, we had retractable walls put in around the mansion. They are similar to lower shutters and make practically no noise. These were used to give the impression that the rooms had changed position. That should suffice. I watched in amazement as the room changed back to normal. I thought it was magic. Very good, sir. Now, I believe you had the announcement to finish. Today is the final task. Can you believe it? Time just flew. I think this calls for a little celebration. And that, my dear guests, is why we are having a little festival today. Time is simple. Win as many games as you can to get more points. More importantly though, just have fun. Enjoy. The last task. I open my door to see a man standing there holding a box. These are for you. Please read the instructions. Once you are done, I'll take you to the festival. He handed the box to me before closing the door. Uh -huh. I opened the box to find the sheet of instruction laid on top of a festival mask and a yukata. Wear me. Why use such a big page for two words? I turn the page over. Please, don't take off the mask during today's event. I quickly changed into the Yukata and festival mask before leaving my room. The men nodded approvingly at my attire before leaving me out of the mansion and to the entrance of the festival. Miss Archer! Over here! Mr. Wolf! Where? I look around for a moment before I spotted someone waving. I walk over to the waving man. Mr. Wolf? How did you know it was me? He tapped the symbol on his mask. All our team members have this symbol, see, Mr. Bandit is in town, have it. I looked at the two men standing beside him to see that they did indeed have it. Can we start now? I don't see why not. So, where should we go first? Let's split up, we can cover more ground away. Sure. Well, I'm out to the shooting game. Well, I need to grab a bite to eat for... Oh hey, I'll go with you. No! Uh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm really hungry, we'll probably take a while. You really should go and win us some tokens. You're never gonna win an hour for asking, kid. This is right, you should try and win some tokens. You're practically a man down with the count anyway. I raised an eyebrow at the familiarity that Mr. Bandages was showing towards the count. I think over the top, I really do suck at this game. Why don't you make yourself useful and protect her or something? Well, I suppose you never can tell what sort of creeps might be around. What do you think, Miss Archer? Would you mind being your knight in shiny armor for the day? I look worriedly at him, trying to assert that what he was really feeling. However, I couldn't divine any sort of clue from his masked face. If it's not too much trouble, then I guess I don't mind. Then it will be my pleasure to accompany you today. The other two left as soon as they heard our confirmation, I shot them a suspicious look. Shall we, Miss Archer? Yeah, sure. We walk up to the nearest booth. This looks like a symbol in of game. Do you want to do this one or should I? You should do it. I wasn't joking when I said I suck. Oh, come on, you can't be that bad. Worse. Look, how about we both try? 
If that's what you want, I want to know, but don't expect much from me. We both try our hand at the game, and in the end, I was awarded a token. The cow on the other hand didn't even manage to score a consolation prize. I couldn't tell if he was disheartened or not, but put him on the back and gave him a big smile. It's okay. There's plenty of other games here, there's tons of stunning you can win at. We won from book to book with relatively similar results. I turned to him and bowed my head. I'm sorry! You must be having the worst time with me! Hmm? What makes you think that? I'm actually enjoying myself fully! I raise my head and look up at him. Even though I keep making you play this game, just because I'm not good at them doesn't mean I can have fun playing them. You, you mean it? Well, do you feel embarrassed by a man who can't even score a point at a single children's game? No. Then it's fine, isn't it? If we're both enjoying ourselves, that's all that matters. We move to the next stand, which was a fish scooping booth. Shall we? I think we shall. That then by Hannah each of us a poi and a bow. The cow went first. He made a valiant throw, but in the end, his boy broke before he could catch a single fish. I remember Joshua being able to scoop all of this within minutes when I was a kid. Joshua? He froze for a second before answering hesitantly. Uh, my head butler. I see. Um, well, guess it's my turn now. I began scooping. I was fast but careful. It was long before I had 10 fish in my bowl. Very impressive. If you have 10 fish, that's enough to exchange for this token. It's proof that you've won a game. What if I get more? Then you can get one of those items as well. We point to a selection of plush animals. Can I try for more? I managed to scoop 5 more in the bowl before the foy broke. So, a token which animal? Hmm. I'll take the bat. Alright, here you go. He took the ball from me as he handed me the bat and a token. Here count, it's for you. I gave the bat to the count. For me. Yep, yeah, what to count without his bat? I uh thank you. I don't know what to say. Do you like it? He held the bat with four hands looking at me momentarily before bringing it to his chest. I love it. Just as we were deciding where to go next, my stomach could all grow. Well, I guess you've just decided for us. I flashed glad my mask was hiding my embarrassment. Do you have anything in particular that you want to eat? No, um, I'm fine with anything. So let's get taiyaki. I love those. Sure! We headed over to a food book to get the taiyaki. The cow lifted his mask up slightly to take his first bite. These are delicious and you're getting the best of... Uh, first is always the way to go. I was a neighbor that we were breaking his sentence but shrugged it off as part of my imagination. I leave my mask and bid on my own taiyaki before wholeheartedly agreeing with his statement. When we were done, we just a few other food booths to sample the jelly cases before returning to the game. And I was already starting to fall when we stumbled upon the high shrugger game. Do you want to try this? No, fitness or skill required, just plant force. I think I may actually stand a chance at this one. Then I handed him a large Moment. We watched the back as he swung at the target. I watched the puck rise quickly up the tower to strike the bow with a loud ring. Congratulations, you won! You did it! I actually won! For winning, you get this token, but you can also pick any of the splash toys as well. Which one will it be? Hmm, the kippy one, please. Alright, here you go. The, hand the attendant handed him the kippy doll and token as he took back the mallet. Here, I want you to have it. He handed me the kippy doll. Are you sure? I mean, you want it, so... Uh, I would never have even tried the game without you. And I certainly wouldn't have enjoyed this day as much as I have, so... Please accept this token of my gratitude. I look shyly at the crown as I thank him. Eric's announcement on suddenly played for the aria. I hope that everyone has enjoyed this event as much as I did planning it. Still, the festival isn't over yet. Find a good spot with a view of a sky because it's almost time for fireworks! We should find the others and watch it together. Somehow, I doubt we'll be able to find them in this crowd. Alright, so where shall we go? Hmm, finding a place out here would be hard. Come on, I have an idea. We started to walk through the crow and I tried to follow as close as I could. But the sudden rush of a crow trying to find a place to watch the fireworks made it hard to keep up. After a while, Fink chose I grab onto his hand so we wouldn't get separated. He turned his head briefly at the corner but didn't shake me off. Instead, he drew me closer to his side.
All too soon we are out of the crowd and at the side of a mansion. You try one of the side doors and let out a triumphant noise and find the gate unlocked. Why are we heading inside? Are we watching the fireworks? We are. You let me through corridors and up some flights of stairs. We emerge out on the balcony just in time to see the fireworks start. Oh wow! The view from here is amazing! How did you ever find this place? I have been here many times before. Makes sense, I guess. A cold breeze had me rubbing my arms around myself in an attempt to retain body heat. The cat must have noticed it too, as he pulled me to his side again before commenting. For warmth. I decided not to say a word this time as I laid my hand onto his shoulder and felt his arm circle around me. Just one more memory. Wouldn't be too bad. 